Happy Tuesday! Today is Tuesday, December the 8th, 2020, and today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 27, Isaiah 4, 2 through 6, and then Acts 11, 1 through 18. And I'm going to look at Acts again today um, and talk about God's gift to the world. Um, this great thing that He gave to people, uh, gave to the Jewish people and even to the Gentile people. And pretty much that's you and I, unless you were like, you know, born into the Hebrew faith. But, um, so this is this gift that God's given to the world. Now, so this passage in Acts kind of, it talks about a culture of, uh, let's say a culture of do this, don't do that. Um, you know, that you were, you were justified by observing the regulations, by following the regulations, all the, the dietary codes and the, the things like that. Um, and that's what's going on in this text. Um, so it's a life of observance. That's the life that Peter has been following. Um, and But he has this confusing dream where three times he sees this kind of picnic cloth that's dropped down and it's got like the best barbecue that you could find in the South. Uh, you know, and, and it comes down and he's like, you know, God's like, hey, go get you some. And he's like, no, I can't do that. You know, no unclean thing has ever entered my mouth, which... I kind of doubt that. Um, that's just me. Uh, but, you know, so he has this three times, three times he rejects it, and God's finally like, hey, I'm telling you, you can eat it. If I called it clean, don't call it unclean. Well, so this confusing dream where, like, Peter is being told, you know, all these observances, you don't, don't, you know, I'm telling you it's okay. Well, he wakes up, doorbell rings, three guys, odd, these series of threes, um, you know, after the, having this dream three times and these guys come and they're like, Hey, uh, God showed up and told us that we were supposed to come and get you and that you would show us the way that we can all be saved. And so Peter travels with them and gets there and suddenly like the Holy Spirit busts out all over these people who, uh, were the unclean of their time that they were, as far as the Hebrew people were concerned, they were the Gentiles. And, um, and he's like, well, the Holy Spirit's here, so <laughs> who am I to say yeah, that the Holy Spirit's wrong? So he baptized them. Um, and that's why he's telling this story is because he gets back to Jerusalem and all the church fathers in Jerusalem are like, why did you do this? Why did you, first of all, hang out with all these Gentiles and secondly, baptize them uh, when they're unclean? And Peter's like, well, let me tell you about that. And he tells the story once again, and the response of the people is, uh, it says in verse 18, when they heard this, they were silenced, and they praised God, saying, then God has given even to the Gentiles the repentance that leads to life. The repentance that leads to life. It's given to them by God, and they're justified through repentance and faith, not merely, you know, not by observance, um, and they're made clean by God's acts. It's God's act, not their own. And that's the whole foundation of our faith is repentance and faith that that we are justified uh, by God through repentance and faith. And Wesley, John Wesley, puts it this way in his sermon fourteen, which is called oddly enough, "The Repentance of Believers." He says, "Thus it is that in that in the children of God, repentance and faith exactly answer each other. By repentance we feel the sin remaining in our hearts." and cleaving to our words and actions. By faith, we receive the power of God in Christ, purifying our hearts and cleansing our hands. And so God had been working while Peter was just laying there dreaming, while the fathers in Jerusalem were just going about their business and worrying about whether they could eat a, you know, eat barbecue. Um, but God had been acting and had already acted upon these people um, so that they understood that something was wrong. They understood that they needed God, and they listened to God, so that when the time was ready, Peter was ready, and God gave them the gift of the Holy Spirit because they had faith, and they repented, and they knew that they needed God. So, God's gift to the world. It's a way. It's a repentance that leads to life. That's the DBR for today. Go out, have a good day, and we'll be back tomorrow.